Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Justin Tucker and I've got several other channels out there. One is called QuickSight and I also own a couple other websites. But uh, in this video today I'm going to cover um, something that I get asked about all the time and that's basically how do I build a website. And uh, as you can see I'm going to break this up into four parts. Um, and kind of discuss each one separately because uh, there's a lot of different avenues you can take. There's a lot of things you need to know and um, there's a lot of tricks and traps along the way that if you simply had the knowledge of prior to engaging in that endeavor um, it'll be a lot uh, less stressful on you. So uh, let's get started. For this uh, first topic before you get online, before you get a domain name, before you get a hosting account, um, and before you even get a website or even need to worry about any of those things, you have to figure out what you want to do. And basically this equates to having a business plan. I would probably argue that this step right here, getting a business plan, getting a very focused idea about what you're going to do is the most important step because getting a domain name, the content you're going to create, the hosting account you're going to use, the website tool you're going to use to build your website is all dependent upon this question and all trickles from that. Generally where I encourage people to start is to ask themselves a very simple question and that is what do I know most about? Um, typically this is going to kind of run along the lines of what you do for a living now um, but basically let's say for example you're a mechanic okay um, you might wonder well how does working on vehicles and cars how can I translate that to a website um, well the answer is that you know people come to the web for only a couple of reasons one is they come to the web for information the second reason is they come for entertainment or the third reason is they come to buy something so if you have any information at all that someone might ask you about if you're a mechanic for example you could probably easily talk someone's ears, o ears off about uh, how to fix a car or all the problems that you've had with cars um, basically this is all information that flows from you freely at very low cost you don't have to go research it you don't have to go learn about it um, but you could uh, make a website about it and produce many pages about the subject because the content is already fresh in your brain you don't have to again go research it or create it from scratch but regardless of whatever subject you know most about and again it really really there is no limit you know whether you're a teacher or whether you're a waitress or I mean anything that would be fun to write about and that could flow from you easily a website can be created um, for that subject and that topic or um, sometimes called to or sometimes referred to as a niche or a theme once you have all this information ready to go though you need to, to determine and decide whether your site is going to be for informational reasons whether you want people to purchase something from your site or whether you want it to um, have some entertainment value or any combination thereof okay um, maybe you want to use the information on your site to help bring attention to uh, affiliate material that you might have which which we'll get into a little bit later but the bottom line of this video right here is to just stress to you the importance of get a business plan. Write down on a piece of paper, I mean literally grab a pen and start writing on a piece of paper um, as detailed as you can be about the goals that you want your website to accomplish. Um, and, and it's got to be more than a goal of well I want to make money. Well of course we all do. But the starting point is you know what do you want your site to do for users. A great way to uh, start that process is to envision that you're an internet browser, what would you like to see when you go to your site? And don't worry at this point the logistics or what it's going to take to make what you want to have happen. Um, if you say, well, I want a video here that talks about this, don't worry about the video just yet. Um, because again, the video is a byproduct of your overall business plan, and it really won't do you any good if you don't know what your video is going to be about. So focus on the elements you want to see in your website. Focus on the links when you click this. What page do you want to come up? If you were a user, what would you like to see? And that's basically structuring your business plan and website. And keep it focused to a very specific market. I mean, obviously, in my earlier example, if you're a mechanic, okay, and you're you've got a website let's say about uh, a blog about cars and how to fix things and mechanic information that people might ask hey how do I fix a you know 95 Ford pickup 
Well, maybe you have a blog entry that a search engine is going to grab, pick up, and then on that page you want to um, draw the user's attention to things you may have for sale, uh, maybe other affiliate code and information. This is basically what you want to determine. And like I said, this is num step number one. This is probably the most important step you'll have. And uh, the rest is basically just uh, just logistics. It's, it's all about putting it together. A good analogy would be, you know, before we worry about buying the bricks and buying the wood and the insulation for your house or even pouring the concrete for the foundation, we have to have a blueprint in place to understand where all that material and where all those pieces are going to fit and go exact same thing here before you can build a website in your online empire or an online presence um, whether it's a personal one or for a large enterprise you gotta have a business plan so uh, take that to heart get a business plan down first and then once you have that um, it's time for step two so that concludes this video and um, I'll see you on part two